I want you to do is I want you to invest that money. So over the course of 2021, not only do you build a nest egg, but you can also start getting return on your investment, on your money. And when you learn how to let your money work for you, mm. preach, boom, preach, that millionaire status is not that hard to get to people. Let's do it. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the CW Clinic for episode 80. Hell yeah. You will be hearing this in the new year, January 4th. Guys, I hope your new year already is going amazing. I have a little bit of uh, knowledge that I want to share with everyone. And that knowledge is to help you during the new year. And if you're a regular listener, you've been listening to me over the past couple of weeks and Mike preach about how to not only understand ourself, our goals, and how to execute our goals, but we're kind of piggybacking off that. And on this episode and the next episode, we're going to talk about money, how to save it, and how to invest it. Before we get into that, though, I first and foremost want to thank everyone for everyone's support. Uh, 2020 was a big year for the CW clinic. Uh, a lot of awesome things happened and it fundamentally starts around all of the support and all of the shares and likes and comments and reviews that you guys specifically have been doing. And, and I thank you and, and I appreciate you and each and every one of you. Um, I know a lot of you that listen to the show, and if, if I don't know you, still know that I'm rooting for you, and I want to see you guys win, and that's exactly why I do this show, and it's to help you learn through my mistakes, and before I get into my mistakes that I've made around saving and investing, uh, let me introduce Downtime TV. They have been producing this show for, oh, about a month or two at this point. And Mike specifically is on the mic. What's up, Mike? Hey, everybody. What's going on? I'm actually, I have a camera today, too. I forgot that I had one. Oh, you have a camera? Yeah, it's right here. Hey. Mike on a mic. Mike on a mic. And hey, a guys. camera. Yeah, hey. And to the rest of the crew, boys, ladies and gentlemen, yes. thank you so much. We've been getting lots of compliments. Everything looks awesome. Thank you. And, um, and uh, yeah, so we're talking about the fundamentals of saving money today. Yeah. And I come at you guys with this topic of saving money. And we're going to talk about how to invest money as well. But before we invest any money, I want to explain to everyone how important it is to save money. And, you know, there's a lot of different schools of thought when it comes to saving and investing. What I'm teaching you guys is what has worked for me. And what has worked for me is saving money. And then when you have like a comfortable nest egg or blanket of savings, you can allocate a percentage to invest, mm. right? Because like, you know, Warren Buffett, everybody should know who Warren Buffett is. If you don't know who Warren Buffett is, um, he's one of the wealthiest men in the world. And he made the majority of his money very slowly through investments. And one of the sayings that he says is, Never put all your eggs in one basket. So that means all of your savings should never go into investing, all right? Because you need an emergency fund. Mm. You need a nest egg. There's a lot of different ways that people say, well, you need two months of a nest egg. You need three months of a nest egg. You need six months of a nest egg. You need a year. And it gets more complicated when you have businesses and 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 overhead and you need a nest egg for the business, but we're going to keep it fundamental today when it comes to saving. And we're going to talk about a couple of things, including and starting with how to build a nest egg, okay? Build that security blanket, how to keep some money in the bank or in a safe or under your mattress or wherever you want to put it, just in case something were, ha were to happen that like you COVID. like COVID and you need some money, right? Like immediate li liquidity, money quickly. And the system that I've taught over the years that really appeals to anyone and everyone 
is fundamentally speaking, if you still carry cash, this is a really good way to save some money. And what I want you to do is I want you to think about the cash that you carry. Now, some people carry ones, fives, other people carries fifties, hundreds, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the size of the bill that you carry. But what I want you to think about is I want you to think about the money that you carry in your pocket. And I want you to, to understand that if you allocate money on a daily basis for saving rather than spending, you're going to not only save money, but you're going to basically increase your net worth. Okay. So I want to talk to specifically anyone that is not a millionaire. Okay. Hello. If, if you, <laughs> what's up guys. Hey, if you are not a millionaire. Okay. I want to teach you some principles on how to become one that will help you increase your net worth. Okay. And how to increase your net worth quickly is by saving money. The fundamental system that I want to teach you is through your cash. Now, listen, what I'm teaching you is not going to turn you into a millionaire, okay? But it will get you closer. And if you are not a millionaire, I'm speaking to you. Yeah. And if you are a millionaire, perfect. If you don't use this system, try it. What's the worst that can happen? You have more money? Yeah. (laughs) You're a multimillionaire. Yeah, you're a (laughs) multimillionaire. Okay. So let's say you have um, regularly about 100 bucks of cash on you uh, throughout the week. Say it's split up into large denominations, uh, 20s, 20s specifically is your largest bill, 20s, 10s, 5s, 1s, and change. Okay. On a daily basis... What I want you to do is I want you to take that cash and I want you to put it into a piggy bank or a jar or something. Now, the system that we use to do that is I want you to get comfortable with a certain amount of money that you take out of your pocket on a daily basis and put it into your piggy bank before you go out for the day. Mm. Okay, so... A really easy way of looking at this is say say money's tight, okay? You know, say you're say money's tight and you don't really have a lot of money, which is okay, because with the principles that I teach you, you'll have more money. Right. Okay. And 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 you have to start frugal. You have to start small and it will build. Yeah. So when I first started many years ago, I would take all of the change in my pocket and put it into my piggy bank at the end of the day. What I want to teach you to do it is at the beginning of the day, take that change and put it into the piggy bank. So, okay, so you don't have change in your pocket for the day. Is that going to make a huge impact on your day? Probably not. No. Probably not. Okay. Now let's say you have 20s, 10s, 5s, and 1s. Okay. Do you think you can get by by taking that change in all of the ones that you have on a daily basis and putting it into your piggy bank? Will it hurt you? Probably not. No. Will it increase your savings quicker than what you're doing now? Most likely. Yeah. So the key to this system is daily take a specific denomination out of your pocket and put it into the piggy bank, all right? If you're comfortable with ones and change, do it on a daily basis. Now, however large that jar is, when it's full, only when it's full, do you take that money, excuse me, I just burped, and you you bring it to Coinstar, or you bring it to the bank, and you have them count it, okay? Mm -hmm. When you do that, Then you have an amount of money that you have saved over that period of time into your savings. You don't touch that money. Mm -hmm. You take that money straight to the bank and you say, count this motherfucker, all right, and put it into my savings account. Now. Now. (laughs) At that very moment, you've increased your net worth X amount of dollars. Right. Okay. Are you going to be on your way to a millionaire? Yes, you are, because you're going to keep doing it. 
Okay. Once you get to the point, let's fast forward to say me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anything less than a $20 bill goes into my piggy bank. Mm. Ones, change, fives, and tens. Every day, whenever I carry cash. cash. So, uh, you know, to put it into perspective, I have about 1500 in cash on me today. But they're all in hundred dollar bills, right? So, so as, you, yeah, yeah. So as soon as I change that first hundred dollar bill, I will have smaller denominations. Yeah, anything less than a twenty dollar bill tomorrow mm -hmm. goes straight into the piggy bank. Mm -hmm. It usually takes me, and if you've followed me for over the years, you've seen my piggy bank because I've done lots of material on this. It's about this big. It's a mason jar. It takes me about three months to fill the mason jar with change and anything less than a 20. Mm -hmm. And at that three month mark, I take it to the bank and I make them count it. And I have about $1,500. Mm. And I take that $1,500 and I put it into my savings account. Now, I've increased my net worth 1500 bucks or about $500 a month just from saving money in my piggy bank. Your day to day. In my day to day. Mm -hmm. I have more complex savings strategies, which right. we're going to teach. Yeah. Which I don't think I've actually formally ever taught that stuff, but well, that's uh, exciting, on a podcast. Yeah. But the cool part is you're adding to your net worth. Okay. Whether it's 500 a month, 3,000 a year, 10,000 a year, 50,000 a year, 500,000 a year. All right. It's all relative. Mm -hmm. You might save fifty dollars a month. I might save five hundred. Uh, the guy down the street might might save five thousand a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you're saving five thousand dollars a month, you're adding sixty grand to your net worth a year. You do that for ten years, you're pretty damn close to being a millionaire just from saving, from that. Yeah. Just from saving your money. Yeah. Okay. You're at least sixty percent of the way. So let's recap that quickly. Yeah. What I want you to do is I want you to, to think about the denominations in your pocket, okay? And when you have denominations in your pocket, I want you to get comfortable with a certain denomination that you can put into your piggy bank daily at the beginning of the day. Take the money away from yourself at the beginning of the day so you have less to spend, what you're doing is you're prioritizing your savings mm -hmm. and what you have left to spend is frivolous. Yeah. Now, is this the most ideal? No. Will it help you increase your net worth and start saving money? Absolutely. Yeah. And the key, just like any goal is... Stick with it. Just be consistent. Yeah. Just there's no right or wrong. Yeah. You know, if you have to dip into it, because uh, you owe someone 20 bucks yeah, and whatever. they're, and they're yeah. at your house or whatever, mark it down. You're yeah. pulling 20 bucks out. And when you have 20 bucks, put it back in. Yeah. Because it's your savings. Yeah. That's a really fundamental way to save money. And it's also pretty cool because it's like you're investing in yourself without investing in yourself yeah. in the day to day. It's like you're, you're, you're spending money yeah. that you worked for or whatever. Yeah. You forget about it, essentially, and then it comes back to you. Yes. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, because you reinvest it right back into yourself. Right. And we're going to talk about investment strategies later You know, later in the show and yeah. on the next, next show, episode too, yeah. which will help you get ahead in life. Yeah. But the key to remember is I, I do not recommend investing unless you have a nest egg. Right. You have to have an emergency fund, mm -hmm. whether it's one month, two months, six months, a year. Have something. God forbid, just in case you need it. Like say your dog goes into the vet or, mm. you know, y your fucking car needs a transmission mm -hmm. or whatever. You lose your job and you can't pay your mortgage. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, most people will say three to six months nest egg. I would say that's good if you're not a millionaire. Yeah. So like six to 12 more so for if, if 12 you're, more. If you're, if you're a millionaire, I would recommend years. Mm. Years. Mm. God forbid. Mm -hmm. God forbid COVID knocks out one of your businesses. Sounds like someone. Yeah. But but I'm know, sure they were good. But you have to understand that the reason why I, I'm able to teach these things is because I've been through it. You've practiced it. I've practiced it. And I've been in the position where you're like, oh my God, I have nothing. Mm. I've been in the position where I'm like, thank God I have something. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And, you know, you have to be able to be 
sufficient in this world. Mm -hmm. Some people don't have wealthy family or don't have a family to fall back on Mm -hmm. or friends to fall back on. Mm -hmm. And you got to take care of yourself. I know, I know specifically like a lot of like very independent women that do not depend upon anybody financially Mm -hmm. other than themselves. And I respect that. And I'm not saying men don't, I just know more women that take that are smarter about independent route. Like I depend on no one financially. Yeah. Right. And, and, and you have to have that emergency fund Mm -hmm. and a good way and an easy way to not only save money, but to build that emergency fund is by this system. Exactly. Save your money first. What is left over spend or don't spend. But the point is prioritize your saving your money first, secondarily spend it. What I used to do was put all the money away at the end of the day, mm-hmm. but I found that I would spend more if I did that. Yeah, it sounds like me. Yeah. <laughs> I like that's why I like that. Mm-hmm. Take a little bit out in the beginning of the day, mm-hmm. come back to it, you know, and and you'll have it have more in the end. And and honestly, I feel like I don't need to spend as much as I do sometimes, so this will help me. Sure. Hone in on that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you save $1,000 a month, which is very conceivable for a lot of people, they just don't realize the frivolous spending that they do. You know, by the end of the year, you can have twelve to 15000 more dollars. Yeah. If you have $15,000, you can buy a condo. Yeah. Or, or your own studio. Or your own studio. <laughs> yeah, you can. You know, entry level into real estate for first-time home buyers is like 3%. You know, you get a, you, like my first home was like 120 grand, mm. you know, 3% of 120 grand is not a lot of money. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So put it into perspective, guys, like this system helped me purchase my first house at 26 years old. That was in the ghetto of West Haven for 120 grand, mm-hmm. which allowed me to live below my means, save a shitload of money, roll it into a, at that time, second company, the gym. And be able to live below my means, not spend a lot of money, and roll all the money into the companies Yeah, to be able to create a cash-producing asset. When you get to the point to where you have, I, I shouldn't say so much money, but eventually when you... Comfortable money, I'd say, right? I think comfortable money is dangerous. Yeah. I think when you get to the point that you have enough money coming in that you don't need it, you get to the point to where you can get real creative with it. And that's investing. Investments that fund investments. Mm. Meaning what I just told you was from 26 to 31, I bought a house. I lived below my means. I bought a second company. I built it. I rolled the money into it until the point that it was producing so much money that I could get creative. I got creative and I started investing into other things Mm -hmm. like real estate and watches and and commodities and people, Mm -hmm. a lot of people. And when you get to that point, right, when you hit that status of whatever the fuck you want to call it, Mm -hmm. right, um, things change, but so does your emergency funds, Mm -hmm. right? So all of a sudden your emergency fund goes from, all right, well, I need, you know, 10 grand to, all right, well, I need a quarter million. Yeah. You know, so the point is it's all relative and it doesn't matter if you're starting with change or you're, or you're putting $10 bills in and anything below. Mm-hmm. I put $10 below and below in, and I honestly should be doing 20s at this point. But it's all relative, and this is a really good system. And I, you, know, you guys are hearing this show right at the beginning of 2021. And if you adopt this system going through 2021, you will increase your net worth yes. in 2021. And, dude, I mean, shit, you might even... You might even build your nest egg quicker than you expect, which I recommend about three to six months of uh, your um, expenses. And then what you can do is you can start learning how to invest your money. Mm. And when you start learning how to invest your money, you can start basically getting a return on your investment. Mm. And that's what we're really going to talk about in episode 81. However, before we get into episode 81, I want to teach you guys a very simple way to look at percentages of your saved money and how to invest. Okay. So let's use that $1,000 mark. Let's say 
Uh, you know what? Let's use, is 500 better? Yeah, let's do 500. Well, let's do 500. Okay. Um, and, and, and guys, it's all fucking relative. You want to you want to use two fifty? No, no, I was joking. I was okay. joking. No, no, five hundred right. is good. Five hundred is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's all relative. Like five hundred to you might be big, five hundred to me might be small, five thousand to me might be normal, but fifty thousand to the next guy, mm. it's it's all relative. It's yeah. just an extra zero. Yes. Just like when Paola tried to send an extra hundred grand out for yeah. a watch. Remember that? Yeah. She just added an extra zero. Yeah, for ten thousand to a hundred. What's the big deal? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, Paola. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, if you guys didn't catch that inside joke from the last show it was actually fundamentally speaking my fault yeah it uh, was <laughs> <laughs> we got that shit cleared up <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right uh, away right away and uh long story short if you, let's, 500 let's say you have 500 bucks a month that you are con- comfortably putting away through this system okay or or, or any way of saving money. If you have 500 a month and that money is being saved, okay, you know you now have your nest egg. You know you're comfortable for, say, three months, all right, whatever that expense is for three months. Now you have this $500 that you're putting into your savings. You have your nest egg cover. This is what I want you to do, and I want you to keep it very, very basic. Mm. Very, very, very basic, okay? I want you to take, okay, let's do some math on the fly here. What's 40% of 500? That should be about- We got people on it. $200? 40% of 500 should be about 200? 200, you're right. Okay, it's like I have an MBA or something. Oh, who, I, right. we didn't know like, that. Did I study math in I grad don't know. school? Yeah. Did you? I did. <laughs> That's I got a, I got a C in calculus, by the way. You can't get C's in grad school. They, and, they yell at you. Oh. You you go on uh, academic probation. I would have failed out. I wasn't paying attention. I was hustling. Mm. I was making money. <laughs> Anyways, uh, sorry, guys. Sorry, Professor... Uh, uh, God only knows who it was. <laughs> to teach me Professor Albright was my favorite, but he wasn't teaching me math. So anyways, 40% of that $500, I want you to take that and I want you to throw it into your savings. 200. Okay, 200 bucks. You already have your nest egg. Now, the other 40%, I want you to put into a specific investment account. Okay. Separate. And that last... 20%, okay, I want you to put it into a needs account, 40, 40, 20, okay? Are we doing the math here? Yes. 80% is going towards savings and investing. 20% is whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. You want a new pair of Jordans? You know Go what? get them. You have your nest egg. Yes. Good. You want, a, you, you want, want a new snowboard you want to go f- ride with Chris? You, there you go. You want a new fucking, uh, what's that? What's the drone? You got a drone? Yeah. What's the drone called? The Mi- DJI Mini 2. You want a new fucking drone? <laughs> cool. Now, keep in mind, you're putting it in separate accounts. Yeah. Savings accounts, investments accounts. Needs uh, accounts. Needs accounts. Okay. This is a very common system you will see on social medias. All right. However, it's with your money. And I want you to do it, all right? Your needs could be anything. It could be travel, could be fucking, uh, could be Jordans, could be phones, could be new boom arm stick, whatever the hell they're no, called. No, yeah, you're close. You know what I mean? Guns. <laughs> he said, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, Mike has my gun displayed here. Yes, we had to. Okay. I mean, look how sexy it is. Okay, you, you might want a new gun. <laughs> yes. Yes. Guns are awesome. Yes. If you think otherwise, please come speak to me. Yes. I will educate you. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, you have, your, you have your nest egg. You're still adding to your savings, but now you have an investment account, and you're adding money to it every month, and you're going to let that shit marinate and build. Mm. And what you're going to do is you're going to get ready to listen to episode 81 of mm-hmm. the CW Clinic, which is coming and be dropping on January 11th, yes. where I'm going to break down exactly some opportunities for you to keep your eyes on to invest in. Remember, in a down economy, there is a shitload 
of capability and ability to not just get wealthy, but to get filthy rich. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, there's always opportunity. But if you pay attention in a down economy, think about it. How much money are mask producers making right now? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's just keep it simple, okay? You have to be observant, though, mm -hmm. and you have to understand how economics work. Yeah. Supply and demand, up and down, all right? We're in a very interesting time, okay? The Dow is at 30,000. Real estate is inflated by 15%. Cars are inflated by 15%. Rolex is inflated by 100%. 100%. 100%. A $9,000 Rolex are selling for over 20 grand at time. At times. Rolex is insane. I I don't even know I don't even like <laughs> fucking with Rolex, but anyways, the point is there's a lot of opportunity and you have to understand the economics of money. If you have money to invest, you can make money on your money. Mm. When you build your nest egg by the principle that I teach you or anything else, you now have an allocated amount of money on a monthly basis you can invest. And what I want you to do is I want you to invest that money. So over the course of 2021, not only do you build a nest egg, but you can also start getting return on your investment or ROI on your money. And when you learn how to let your money work for you, mm. Preach. Boom. Preach. That millionaire status is not that hard to get to, people. It's not. There's something ridiculous, like 300, like three, like 3,000 millionaires a day in America, like new millionaires. Wow. It's not that hard. It's not that daunting. And, and once you get there, you realize, oh, it's just the beginning. Yeah. Like anything else. But the point is when you allow your money to work for you, you don't have to trade your time for money, mm. okay? Which is something you can't get back. Which is something you can't get back. And most people don't realize a nine to five specifically, you're just trading your time for money. That's yeah. all you're doing. Mm -hmm. You've said, okay, this $50,000 a year is what I'm going to trade X amount of hours for eight hours a day for. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work 40 hours a week for $50,000 a year. Eight hours a week, or excuse me, eight hours a day, 40 hours a week for 52 weeks, for $50,000 a year. You are trading your time for that money. When you learn to invest your money and let your money make money, you don't have to trade your time for money and you can travel. And, and be free. You can, and you can be free. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You can start a show to teach everybody how to do it. Yes. And want to see them successful and be millionaires and give your time to help other people become healthy and wealthy. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that. I'm just saying that it's pretty fun and I enjoy doing it. So we're going to recap episode 80. All right. Fundamental piggy bank system. Put X amount of dollars into your motherfucking piggy bank in the morning before you go out, no matter if it's just your change, your change in your $1 bills, your change, your ones, your fives, your change, your ones, your fives, your tens, put it in at the beginning of the day, okay? And when that motherfucker is full, bring it to the bank and start your nest egg if you don't have it or add it to your nest egg. Or if you already have a nest egg and you're starting this system, bang, 40, 40, 20. Yes. Okay? And that, people is how to build your nest egg and how to start an investment, basically portfolio, mm -hmm. in the sense that you're starting your portfolio with capital. Yeah, Mike, what do you think? I think it's beautiful. I just learned a lot. Uh, I can't wait for the next episode to hear what's going on. And when you get to that level, how do we invest? Where can we invest? And I'm just excited. I love it, dude. I appreciate you having me be along for this ride. It's like free education right here. You know, I... I, I Free education is something that I've been doing for a long, long time. And my only hopes are that one person, and that person is you. Yeah, right now, yeah. Learns from this show. Yeah. And I hope that if this show resonates with you guys, send it to someone that it can help. Yeah. All right. It, how, how long have we been going? 25 minutes? 30 now. All right. We're at 30 minutes. It's 30 minutes of someone's time yeah. with gold. Complete and utter gold. 
And I don't want your money. Mm -hmm. I want you yeah. to have your money and invest your money and be wealthy. Because then we'll go fly to Chile in the summer and yeah. go snowboarding. Yeah. Okay? With, a, from your needs account. First class. Yeah. Okay? And like those little pod things that you get for international travel. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Where the superstars get to go. Yeah. You could like close the door and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. I like that. And, and you can come cuddle. Yeah. You know? You know? Uh, yeah, guys, no, honestly, you know, if, if, if you learn something from this show, um, send it to one person and, and, and write a review for us. Yeah. It's, you know, it's on iTunes. Uh, we built up a lot of really good reviews over the past year. I'd love to keep the momentum rolling, you know, um, and I, and whoever gives the first review of 2021, uh, you know, I will not only have you on the show if you want to be on the show, but if you don't want to be on the show, I will have dinner with you and I will give you a couple hours of my time and teach you whatever the heck you want on me because all you did is help me by getting our message out there, my message out there and letting the world know on iTunes that this helped you. And, you know, that being said, guys, I'm wishing everyone a healthy, wealthy, prosperous, abundant fucking fantastic new year i hope these last few shows including this one are helping you get better and uh i want everyone to be super successful in life and know that you all every single one of you listening have the ability to be as powerful as the dreams that you have at night and the aspirations that you think about you can do it and the first step is becoming financially sound mm -hmm. I'll catch you next time on episode 81, where we talk about investments. Peace. Peace.